Here's a question. How much easier would your life be with more money? I mean, the more money you have, the less stressful life would be, and you can live doing whatever you want. And at that point, you can focus on making the difference that you always wished you could make because you already have everything, right? No, because if you can see, walk, enjoy a home-cooked meal, watch your kids grow up right in front of you and laugh, if you have the privilege of waking up and going to work and somebody is willing to pay you for that, you already have everything you've ever needed already. Just sometimes we all just completely forget that we have so much. The fact that we are alive, we have the freedom to choose our outlook on life no matter the situation and all sorts of other things is worth more than just money. And in this video, we're going to cover exactly why that is and how you can create a system in your life today to live a happier, healthier and wealthier life up next. Hey guys, welcome back to Money Talks with me, Nabil Khan, where we get real in the conversation about money for you to build the right mindsets, habits, and education in your journey to financial freedom. This week's episode came from a thought process that I had while I was away on a break earlier this month on why we live with money the way we do, and if it's in our control and to what extent. Now, naturally, in today's time, with the ability to spend money on these things in the palm of our hand and it's only getting easier, this comes down to financial behavior. You see, our behavior and habits with money are not driven by numbers and logic as human beings, and I covered why and how to create a system to deal with the ups and downs in life. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. But guys, here's the thing. This stuff isn't new. There is tons of information about why an emergency fund is important and all sorts of topics on financial freedom. But why is it that so many people have seen, heard and read about this stuff and agreed and got the message they felt like they wanted to have this in their life, but then carried on with the business of day to day life and a month or two later are still stuck in the same cycle. Here's one answer. It's because we have things to do. We're busy all the time. There's always stuff, deadlines, working to pay bills from a Monday to Friday. And in between all of that, we chase happiness as a goal by trading our presence for material things. And we act on immediate gratification. And by the time the weekend comes, it is such a relief. I mean, we've got to relax, chill, loosen up and catch up with some friends and spending time to figure out how to plan our journey to our financial freedom is on the to-do list but it's not just there yet you know we need we need some space to breathe in a few months we'll be able to be ready to 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 tackle that problem you know now here's the reality guys in 2019 up to this day this behavior is normal for most people and there are many psychological reasons and studies as to why we live this way based on subconscious belief systems from childhood, the cycle of shame with money and our decisions with money, keeping up with the Joneses, living to get everything that we want, rewarding ourselves with a lifestyle and holidays that we put on debt just to tell ourselves that we deserve these things because of the hard work that we put in every day. And you know what? I am here to tell you guys that it's okay. We don't need more people to make us feel bad about our life choices because it is hard out there and you guys are doing the best that you can. But I do need you to realize that there is a negative cycle to this mindset. And I'm also here to share with you guys the best way to take control of your mindset towards your financial freedom. It's gratitude, the quality of being thankful, the readiness to show appreciation for everything that we have. If you can wake up every day knowing, feeling and believing that you already have so many priceless gifts in everything that is you and around you, 
Nothing can control your behavior. You wake up and face the day from a point of clarity rather than a point of anxiety. You make better decisions, build stronger relationships and remain present more often. And the more you can stay present and grateful, studies actually show you will become more resilient and happier with your life. And that's the point that you can choose to act on the things that you wish you wanted to do but never got down to doing. And the beauty about the practice of gratitude is it's actually something that can be trained. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, guys, I've got something to help each one of you take action in your journey today. Drop an email to me here on Money Talks and I will send you a financial wellness starter kit that we put together here for you guys that will help you understand your level of gratitude today and take you through steps to building that level of gratitude every single day in taking action towards your journey to financial freedom. So there'll be some tools in there, guys. And on that note, thanks for watching, guys. I am grateful that I get to get this message and this channel out to each one of you. The community is growing strong here, guys, and it's just awesome to see how many people actually take the time to like, comment, send those messages. I've been reading all of those messages. Thank you, guys. I'm grateful to be able to produce this stuff for you guys. Thank you to all the people that are working behind the scenes and coming on board to creating all sorts of different levels for the community here. Keep participating and upping your level of engagement, but most importantly, start taking steps today, any time that you get towards your future because nobody else is going to do it. We're just here to help and we are grateful that we are here to help. Thank you very much from me. Share this video to help one more person in their journey with money. Share this video to help one more person join the community. Don't forget to send me that email for your financial wellness starter kit and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm